achy joints and pain could be a result of rheumatoid arthritis. According to research, more than one and a half million people suffer from the disease. Here to tell us more about that, as well as treatments available, Dr. Neil Bronstein with Southwest Medical Associates. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Let's start off by uh, differentiating rheumatoid arthritis and arthritis. Yeah, so regular arthritis would be osteoarthritis, mm -hmm. and there's really not that many similarities between the two diseases. Osteoarthritis is a mechanical breakdown of the cartilage. Mm -hmm. The joint space starts to narrow. You can get that from an injury, or you can get that from age. Rheumatoid arthritis is a disease of the immune system, so it's one of these autoimmune diseases where your own immune system will start attacking your joints. And we have a definition up on the screen there as well. Yeah, and it, it's definitely chronic and you can have these flares and remissions and sometimes the onset can be kind of slow and insidious mm -hmm. and so people won't pick up what's going on yeah. and sometimes early on it can be difficult to diagnose. Right, and so if someone's going through a, a lot of tests to find out what's wrong with them and they're not coming up with anything, they're often sent to rheumatologists like yourself to perhaps find out what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get consults where the diagnosis isn't exactly clear. Mm -hmm. And we have some laboratory tests for rheumatoid arthritis, but they are by no means absolute. So someone could have equivocal testing or even normal testing, but their primary doctor is saying, well, they're having a lot of joint inflammation and they're having joint pain, and they'll send them to us for an evaluation, and we'll try to come up with a diagnosis. Yeah, let's talk about what people can, what kind of symptoms indicate someone has rheumatoid arthritis, and we have some x-rays of individuals who are suffering from this, right? Or this yeah. is a normal x-ray. That's, uh, that's what a normal hand should look like mm -hmm. um, without significant arthritis, and mm -hmm. this is a x-ray of someone with severe rheumatoid arthritis, you can see the deformities in the thumbs. Mm. And then if you look at the wrist joints, the clarity in the bones has all been disrupted. Yeah. And so that's all inflammation and damage and what rheumatologists refer to as erosions, where the disease and the inflammation actually has started to chew into the bone yeah. and change the nature of the joint and um, actually cause deformity of the joint. And this can be very painful and debilitating. There's no known cure, correct? Correct. We don't have the ability to cure it, but our ability to treat the disease has significantly improved over time. So the keystone of therapy are drugs we call disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. And these are drugs that have been studied and proven to slow down the progression of the disease. And we have a wide arsenal of choices. So our objective as rheumatologists is try to get people as close to clinical remission as possible, what we refer to as low disease activity. Mm -hmm. And with early recognition and early treatment, we can prevent the joint damage like what we saw in that x-ray. Physical therapy as well? Physical therapy will help when you have some arthritic joints to preserve your mobility. Um, we also have some surgical treatments, but as a medical doctor, we try to save those for last. Yeah. So if I can treat someone early and get them under control, hopefully I'll prevent that person from ever needing a joint replacement. That's really good information. Dr. Bronstein, thanks so much for thank joining us Thank you so today. much for having me. Appreciate it. Sure. We'd like to thank Southwest Medical for being uh, one of our community pride partners.